Hey guys, Bearfox here and welcome back to another brand new video. In this one, I'm going to be talking about the best, optimal and overall the greatest settings for GeForce Now in 2022. And this is my probably first face cam video after 20k subscribers so let me know how you guys find it again we're going to be talking about green screen error black screen error latency fixes and a lot more that i know in this video so make sure to bat an eye till the end of the video also i want to let you guys know that 96 percent of you guys aren't yet subscribed to the channel so please do me a favor smash that subscribe button down below the video it helps me out a lot it grows my channel and most of it I, it encourages me to make more awesome guys like this for you guys so without wasting up any further ado let's dive straight into the video right, so i have kept an eye on all of your comments below the geforce now videos that i used to make and i have noticed that a lot of you guys are facing black screen latency and even green screen issues and at first i was like is green screen even a thing and then I did some research and I came to know that, yep, green screen is in fact a thing. So in this video, we're going to be fixing all of them. So watch it till the end. First up, we're going through the GeForce Now in application settings because that's going to be the crucial part of this video. And most of the errors are fixed by this face itself. I have left a timestamps down below the video in the description. So make sure you guys go and check it out. It's going to help you to see through the video and go to your problems locate the parts of the video easily so make sure to go check it out so first up open up your geforce now and in windows 11 for some reason geforce now opens up in multiple tabs i don't know what's the issue but yeah never mind so once you are logged into your account go to the settings section of your geforce now and in here you're going to be seeing a lot of options i personally belong to india so the nearest server is eu southeast for me but it can be different for you so make sure you guys go to google and search up for your location eu southeast is the thing for me i'm not going to be going through all the servers in the geforce now but um, the major part is under the streaming quality and for this you need to um, do a speed test and that's really simple as well all you need to do is go to the microsoft store or go to the um, go to your browser and over here search for speedtest.net this is a service by ukla and it is completely free to use over here just click on go and then let it wait let it do the speed test for you guys so as you guys can see, I'm getting two ping over here. My download speed is over 200 and even my upload speed, I believe is over 200. Yep. So this is the best internet connection that you can have and you can go even beyond, but it's not necessary. Uh, even if you have a 50 Mbps connection, that means 50 MBs download and 50 MBs upload. It's going to be great. All right, so go back to your streaming quality and again, if you fall under any of these servers, if you're directly falling under them, suppose I live in US, I can use the US servers. But if you are not living in the US, if you're not living in the EU, for people like me in India or living in any other part of the world where the servers don't exist, go with the custom settings and the bitrate should be equivalent to your upload speed. As you guys can see, I have over 200 Mbps, which is 217 megabits per second. Um, just, you just you can just keep it over to 50. And if you have below 50 Mbps, you can just keep it to whatever it is. So suppose I have 20 megabits, so I can keep it to 20. If I have 25 megabits, I can keep it to 25. And you guys get the idea of it. Suppose you're living in the US region and you are looking for the competitive settings and you can just simply go and select your US region and then go with the competitive streaming quality and it's the best for you. Down below we have the resolution upscaling and this is basically the resolution scale fit to your display. So suppose you're playing on a 1080p monitor but on 720p it's gonna be upscaling the resolution of your game. But we don't need it precise, I guess it doesn't affect your gameplay a lot. But yeah, if you're playing on 4K monitor on 720p, it doesn't actually make sense. If you have a 4K monitor, you would be having a good PC. But if you if you face the resolution upscaling thing, you guys can go with the standard or enhanced. But don't go for AI enhanced because it utilizes your GPU for better scaling of the game. 
So I highly recommend you guys to go for standard. It is the best and it doesn't consume much of your Wi-Fi or LAN, whatever you're using. So it's the best. It won't give you connectivity issues. Uh, lastly, the Discord rich presence and I believe to keep it turned off because this is um, more network and hardware consuming. So I highly prefer to keep it turned off. Next is the setting that you guys probably don't know about. Um, that is go to your GeForce now and then open up the file location. Yeah, so this is the file location of GeForce Now. So the file you're looking for is geforcenow.json. All you have to do is right click and then click on edit. And if you don't see the edit option, just click on open with and use notepad for this file. So once you are over here, scroll all the way down until you find the NVSDL IOHID configurable and you're going to turn this to true. So once it is set to true, just simply save it and close it. Most of you guys can't even edit it because of the previous changes. So I highly recommend you guys to go to properties and then under the attributes section, make sure to turn off read only and then save it. So once you're done with this, just simply minimize it because I'm going to be needing this folder ahead. So once you have minimized that section, once you are back to GeForce now, simply go to the settings and under here, you'll see an option which says direct mouse input. So all you have to do is just turn on the settings because direct mouse input allows you to take the direct input from your keyboard and mouse to the computer. So it won't give you much of an input delay. So this, according to me, is one of the great settings. All right, once again, if you face a lot of network connectivity issues, then I'll be leaving a link to this file in the description below. Make sure to go and check it out. Most of you guys are complaining about my website, but it's not really a big deal. A lot of you guys have been telling me that there are viruses on the site, but I'll totally prove it to you guys that it's not the case. Simply come to the link and you guys will see a website similar to this. Now over here, scroll down until you find this pink click here to download button click on it and, and a pop-up will pop up just click on it and close two of the pop-ups right away like this and then click on the click here to download button and it will directly take you guys to recognize now this is completely trusted website it won't give you any of the viruses so here is the video for the file if you want to skip waiting time in geforce now make sure to go check this video out it's going to be helping you guys a lot nextly i'm going to be telling you guys about the file itself so for that you need to subscribe me on youtube and it's again a really simple task now why it all right guys so a few days ago subscribe me it is because i put a lot of efforts making these files and getting these videos to you guys so I, I deserve a simple quick subscribe so it's nothing big just subscribe me help me reach 50k subscribers i'd be really glad and thanking you guys from the bottom of my heart so once you have subscribed to the channel just simply go over here and click on uh, unlock link and you'll be going to the mega site and over here you have to download this geforce now server connection.json either you can just copy the simple code I, I don't recommend that just simply download this file it's no virus it's really simple so you have copied this geforce now server json go back to the cef folder over here and then copy this server json and paste it right over here so you guys see we have got the geforce now server connector and it's really simple to do so this connector file has most of the functions and most of the command lines which will help you guys for a better connection gaining more control over the server connector thing so i highly recommend you guys to do it if you are living too far like australia oceania or the very eastern part of asia and this will really help you guys connect the server much faster and avoiding input delay to the maximum extent Nextly, talking about the black screen issues that most of you guys face, for that, it is the issue for the DX or the DirectX version you're using in your PC. DirectX is directly related to the rendering in your computer and rendering is really important while playing on cloud. For that, simply go back to your um, CEF folder and over here, open the GeForce Now JSON file once again. Now suppose you're playing on the DirectX version which is incompatible with your computer, you're going to be facing a black screen because the game cannot be rendered on your PC. So for that, you have to search for the NVGFN Accelerator 
code line and over here you'll see the DX version which is stated over here. All you can do is uh, go between 9 to 12, anything that fits best, just go back, play some games on your GeForce now and I believe that it's going to be fixing most of your issues. Nextly, we're going to be talking about the um, resizing in GeForce now. Most of you guys ask me if there is any way to play it on stretch resolution. So yep, we have got a fix for that. So as you guys can see, the NV default window size over here and we see the minimum window size. So don't touch the minimum window size for the, um, the default window size or the definitive window size. You guys can change it. Just make sure to keep the comma in between. Don't change it. You guys can take it to 1920 and say, uh, if I don't want to go 1080, I can go 2160. And it's going to be a little more stretched. So just do some playing with the DEF window size and that's how you're going to be getting the stretch resolution. Again, save it and close it. For me, I'm not going to be needing to save it. So I'll just go with don't save. As far as the green screen issues are related, they are caused by improper rig faults. It is directly related to your internet connection, the latency from your computer to their computers. So for that, I highly recommend you guys to get a LAN cable, get a better Wi-Fi. If you have a very poor connection from uh, KBPS to 1 Mbps, I highly recommend you guys to upgrade your internet in short because there are no fixes to limited hardware. So I hope I have covered most of your problems in this video and I hope I had helped you. If I could, make sure to do leave a like and smash that subscribe button once again because we are really close to 50k subscribers and I can't get it without you guys. So I seriously love you guys. Thanks a lot for showing a lot of support on my channel. We have gained over 6,000 subscribers in the last two months. So I seriously, seriously appreciate your support. And if there are any questions from your side, more questions, more issues in GeForce now, feel free to leave a comment below this video. And even you guys can join my Discord server from the link in the description below. And I have a dedicated section for questioning over there. So um, ask any mods, they'll get you to the YT question section. You guys can even find it yourself. Leave your queries, leave your problems there, and I'll be finding fix and making dedicated videos for you guys. So with all that said, I'm going to be ending this video over here today. And um, stay tuned and keep watching Bear Fox. Until then, peace out.